The pursuit of free energy has long captivated the imaginations of scientists, inventors, and enthusiasts alike. In recent times, the collaborative efforts of Stefan Levin and Charles Flynn have sparked interest with their groundbreaking exploration into free energy using magnets. Drawing inspiration from Alexander Meissner's 1913 circuit, Levin and Flynn have ingeniously combined technologies to create a system that promises overunity, a phenomenon where the output power surpasses the input power. Meissner's 1913 circuit and the transistor stage. Stefan Levin's journey into free energy begins with the exploration of Alexander Meissner's 1913 circuit, a concept that exploits back EMF to generate electrical oscillation resonance. A crucial element of this circuit is the C terminal of the transistor, where the main coil of the transformer is connected. This establishes the foundation for the subsequent innovations brought forth by Levin and Flynn. Charles Flynn's Free Energy Transformer Levin seamlessly integrates Charles Flynn's Free Energy Transformer into the equation, laying the groundwork for the revolutionary breakthrough. By combining Flynn's transformer with Meissner's circuit, the result is an astonishing scenario where the output power exceeds the input power, an occurrence known as overunity. The self-oscillating transistor stage and Flynn magnetic frame. The transistor stage, as envisioned by Levin, maintains its self-oscillating nature. However, the transformer now comprises red and blue coil windings. This oscillation not only resonates within the circuit but also induces movement in the Flynn magnetic frame. The electrical output is then generated through black coils attached to each end of the magnetic frame. The output, being oscillating or AC in nature, undergoes full wave rectification through the use of four diodes. A capacitor, connected to the diodes, ensures a smooth transition to a pulsating DC current. Activation and self-sustainability. Initiating the circuit requires a brief touch of a 12-volt source to the output terminals or waving a permanent magnet close to the red and blue coils. Stefan Levin even suggests an ingenious alternative involving a piezo crystal from a lighter, connected to an extra coil, to generate the necessary voltage spike. Once activated, the system becomes self-sustaining, raising the intriguing challenge of devising a means to switch it off. Challenges and Replication Replicating this device demands meticulous experimentation with the number of turns in each coil and the wire diameter to carry the desired current. Levin advises that the, black, output coils must have at least twice the weight of copper as the, blue, input coils to enable the generation of excess power. As a relatively recent circuit release, the absence of widespread replications poses a challenge, underscoring the need for further exploration and validation. So here is the transformer, the whole setup of the transformer, as you can see. So here is the two wire that came come out from the light source. I'm currently running it from an inverter right there. There's an inverter. You can see there's an inverter right there. So that's the inverter I'm currently running it on. So here we can know the amperage it is consuming. Instead of going to the inverter to check the percentage. So from here we can get how many percent and how many amps it is consuming. So now this transformer, with only powering the transformer alone, consumes only 0.1 to 0.2 to 0.2 amps. So here is the circuit. I've already put it. So it goes from there as you can see 0.2. It goes up. So let me use it to power this electric motor. This is just for test purpose, as you can see. The electric motor is working and it is only continuing, still same 0 0.2, 0 0.1. As you can see. As you can see. Let me stop it. So, um, here is it, as you can see let's sorry, let's make it too bright so here is the wire 
if I put it, it will start to rotate. So let me short circuit it from here. If I short circuit this transformer, the 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 voltage and the current will still be the same. So look at the short circuit. And see, it even reduces. On short circuit, it reduces. Let me remove it. You see? Let me short circuit it. And see? I'm using it currently from an inverter right here. An inverter is showing me 4.6%. This is a um, 800 watt inverter. So as you can see, I use it to power the motor again. I've removed it. Yes, it. So let me short circuit it. So you can see. When I short circuit, you will hear it the sound a little. So as you can see, 0.00. So I've short circuit it. I'm currently using it off. I'm currently using it off from an inverter. This is the power of the transformer. Even though you short circuit it, let me use it to power a load again. Look at short circuit. I've short circuited here right here. Consuming 0 0.00. Let me use it to power a load. Here's the load. I'm not going to power the electric motor. On the electric motor, let, let me show you 0 0.1, 0 0.2. So on this, I can pressurize here and the current will still remain the same. So that is how this type of transformer functions. That is how it functions. I can short circuit it, use it to carry. But the voltage coming out from there is around 89 volts. 89 volts. The, the output current is around 89 volts. While the current here is around 220 volts. It's 220 volts. Or a 220 volts. So on a normal, even a conventional, the normal transformer, you know, the normal step down cannot do this thing. Because once you short circuit it, it will definitely bounce back to the transformer and, and off the power system. And off the power system. But here you can short circuit it. It's consuming a lower and even reducing. You can use it to power this electric motor and do other things. You cannot just you can also use it also to charge batteries and, and what have you to do so many stuff. But the current coming out, the voltage coming out from it is 80. 80, 80, 84 volts. That's the voltage coming out. I've tested it. So when we talk about the power, the power is inside this transformer. That is when we talk about the current it can deliver. Well, as for now, I've not calculated the current it can deliver very well. But um, I, I will, I will make a guess that the the, 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 the valid current right here is around 300 watts. That is the current it can pull out to most load. So as you can see, it's working accurately, you can short circuit it. Thank you.